Hello everybody, this is Cap of Codiclism, and I would like to welcome you to a brand new series on batch files, also known as batch scripts. So what is a batch file? Well, a batch file is basically just a file filled with commands that are understood by the command interpreter, also known as the command line interpreter or just command prompt. So how do you find this command prompt? Well, if you're using a Windows operating system that is in the Windows NT family, which is very likely that you are, then come down to the start button and type in CMD. And when you see CMD.exe, click it, and here's your command prompt. So as I mentioned, this is with anything or any operating system in the Windows NT family, which includes Windows NT, Windows 2000, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8. So it's very likely that if you're using a Windows operating system, it's in the Windows NT family. So what happens when you execute a batch file is it opens up our command prompt and then executes each command in this command prompt. So now you're probably thinking, okay, well, why do I care? How can I use this? What does it mean to me? Well, what it means is, is that you can automate tasks on your system. Now, you may not realize the importance of this at the moment, but when we start getting into later tutorials, you're really going to see the benefit of knowing how to make batch files. And making batch files isn't just for programmers. Making batch files is for anyone that uses, you know, a computer, any home user that uh, wants to automate tasks. So, the first thing we're going to do here is get Notepad++. Now, you can make batch files in any text editor, including just Notepad, which comes with any, you know, release of Windows. If you just go down to the start button and type in notepad it'll come up and you can write them in here if you wish but I found that it's much easier to just use notepad plus plus so if we open up our web browser of choice and just search for notepad plus plus and find the Notepad++ official site, which is notepad++.org, and then find the download button. So after you click this download button, you're going to download you know, the exe, and then once you run that executable file, and set up Notepad, uh, open up Notepad, and now we can finally start actually writing a batch file. <clears throat> So, we're just going to say at echo off, and if you want syntax highlighting, which is always a good idea, you can come up here to language and choose batch. So the next thing we're going to type in here is echo hello world, and then, oops, pause. So what echo off does is it tells the command prompt to not print out the commands as it's executing them because that's just going to clutter our command prompt and it'll be harder to see, you know, what we want to see. The echo command tells the command prompt to print out, you know, whatever you tell it to. In this case, hello world. And then the pause command just pauses the prompt until you click a key. And we do this because if we don't, it's still going to execute the file, but it's going to happen so fast that the command prompt is just going to flash and it, we won't be able to see anything. So now what we want to do is save this. So let's save it, and I'm going to save it in my batch files folder as hello world. I'll just make it one word. So you want to save as type batch file with the .bat extension. 
So you can do this in two ways. You can either find the save as type batch file in this list, or you can select all types and just put dot bat at the end of it. So now that we've saved it, we can run it. So if you're using Notepad and not Notepad++, you're going to have to find where you saved it and then double click it. And this runs it, as you can see, printed out, hello world. But if you're using Notepad++, it has a nifty little feature up here. If you go to run and click run, find your batch file and then click open and then go to save. So this allows us to save a shortcut to run our batch file, which is extremely convenient. So I'm going to choose control shift and then Z. I'm going to name it hello. Click OK and cancel. So now if you go up to run, <clears throat> you'll see it here in run and you can execute it by either clicking that or you can just use your shortcut which in my case was control shift Z so that's one of the nice little features that makes me you know really like using notepad plus plus for <clears throat> writing batch files alright sorry about that guys my throat was getting extremely dry <laughs> so I had to go get a drink okay so now what we're going to do is see what happens when we get rid of at echo off. Save it and then run it. So as you can see, it prints out each command as it executes them and then the result. Which in some cases you might want to do, but in most cases you won't. So that's why we put the at echo off up there. So now we can kind of see what happens if we take away pause. As you can see, it just flashed up the prompt and then went away. So it actually executed our batch file, but it did it so quickly that we couldn't see anything. So that's why we have the pause there. And that pretty much concludes this first intro video to batch files. Um, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe so that you can keep up to date on when we post these tutorial videos. And you can also follow us on Twitter at WeAreCodeclism. And I will see you in the next video.